Dr. S. Rangarajan, the Chairman and Managing Director of Data Patterns India Limited. Good afternoon. Thank you, Value Quest, for uh, arranging this and having me on the stage here. We are talking about an inflection day, an inflection point. I am from the industry of defense, uh, aerospace and defense in India. And very surely, Indian defense and aerospace industry has this uh, inflection point today. The market has opened up. From a traditionally import-centric market, now we are trying to focus in India, inward-looking. So the market has opened up. So my presentation in the next 20 minutes will be on the opportunities in India and how we have built data patterns uh, ground up in the last three decades, a few examples, and how we see the future and how we are going to grow. Like I said, the market here is very large, more than 1.5 lakh crore of annual capex spend in India. But unfortunately, all these years, this has been import-centric market. Post-independence, we've relied on imported uh, hardware and weapon systems. Um, and till about 10 years back, you know, people like us could not even bid to MOD tenders. It was only for foreign companies and de defense PSUs to address the tender. This has completely changed. Today, with the government initiatives looking inwards, and the policy directives which all of us have been hearing all through the day, all speakers are saying the correct direction India is taking. I think this industry is one of the fortunate that we are facing all the, the policy directions are towards making India more. Atmanabhar Bharat, the DAP 2020, this is a defense procurement policy. Everything is now to see inward looking. Not only that, to allow routing to happen, to, uh, not to happen, India has also said there is a minimum 50 to 60 percent value add, which has to be in Indian context. That throws open an industry of more than one lakh crore a year for Indian defense uh, manufacturing to start. So this is a substantive opportunity, a huge opportunity to scale. But then, we could not start this earlier. Data patterns throughout this journey, we have been a product company. One of the points is introduced is the building block concept. This is what we did from there on. Um, we built in this industry because the market was not accessible to us. It was only accessible, uh, only part of the market, the defense research lab, so it was accessible to Indian industry. We, as a smaller scale company, we could try to address that market. Whatever India was importing, we said we will design. So we started the company as a product company, and um, we built the building blocks, which is available in US and Europe, which India is importing. We competed against them and built the building blocks. From there on, he said, went with DRDO, the Defense Research Lab, which is the only option for us to actually get into defense or, uh, or space. We went with them in all the labs and built across the stable electronics. We built everything in electronics. Probably the only company builds from processor to RF to microwave to high voltage to all the firmware, software. Matter of fact, in 1990, we wrote our own language, DP, multitasking, basic real-time interpreter. From there on, we said, this is not good enough because we need to build full systems to address the open markets in India, as and in Indian markets opened up. So we built up competency model in certain areas, like radars, electronic warfare, and uh, some such systems there, complete equipment can be designed by us. Today, we have more than 1,000 employees, more than 500 engineers working with us. And also, I should tell you, out of the 1,000 odd employees, more than 250 employees actually are shareholders in data patterns. The company, we listed the company in uh, December 2021, and we have a very large employee shareholder base within the company. Also, this has been a long journey for us to come here. It's been a very inclusive journey. Um, more than about 200 people in the office, or 250 people in the office, are all been with the company more than 15 years. So we have a solid, inclusive kind of organization we've built. And today, we're probably the only company offering the building blocks or designing the building blocks to end systems. We have a reasonable book order size now. We have more than 1,000 crores of orders in hand. We also have more than two to 3,000 crores of order visibility for the next two to three years. 
These are all based on products already designed and developed and delivered. The repeat business is expected. Uh, we are reasonably profitable. This is again because of everything which we do in data patterns is designed in-house. Why I'm taking you to the journey of data patterns is to tell you where the opportunities are and what are we strategically doing to fill the opportunities which is happening in India. So we are reasonably profitable since all IP is in, uh, generated inside in India. This is the facility we have. We've just doubled the infrastructure capacity. The second, first building here on the left side is in a construction, is almost complete, where we also have created not the, just the you know, pick and place or the building uh, the, uh, the blocks and boxes, but we also can build, bring in trucks, outfit trucks, build our own radars, scale at what the market wants. We're also putting infrastructure to scale there. We do design everything in-house. Uh, in what the world does, we do in India. We do the most complex printed circuit boards. We do most complex mechanical design and engineering. We have our own pick and place line. We have two lines of pick and place where we fully caters to both space as well as defense quality manufacturing. Uh, our manual soldering is all certified by Department of Space. We have assembly centers, vibration, all the other facilities which are necessary for, uh, uh, for high quality defense manufacturing infrastructure. The right side you see the hangar facility where the trucks can be brought inside and we can build our own radars. Building blocks to end systems. This is what we talked about. What we mean by building blocks is this. We build our own processor. You have the, you know, the laptops, you have Xeon processor. We, build the, we use the Xeon processor, build our own boards. Every PCB which is designed is designed in-house. We don't import and integrate. We build the products in-house in and integrate it. We do across the stable electronics building blocks. Just take a few case examples because we work very, um, uh, we've actually built up a competency in certain areas like radars. Here we do everything from the building blocks to all of those, including the antenna, the mechanical substructures, uh, structures which goes into the antenna. All are designed in-house and are integrated in-house. And then build the radar itself. See, what our journey started is when we started building the building blocks, we could not have the access to build the end systems. This is not available to us because this government only decided it will be a state subject and they can do it. So we had to move out of non-defense areas to see that we built a competency model. So we built, we upgraded all of radars of Department of Space, ISRO for all the tracking radars, and also the missile center, which is in Balasore. The tracking radars are upgraded with our systems. These are all working for the last 14 years. Then we started building the complete systems with DRDO. This is one of the radars built by them. All the electronics of the radar has been designed by us. On non-defense, to prove that we have a radar capability, we designed a coastal surveillance radar, which is working for the last eight years. We have a number of such capabilities built. This is the largest wind profile radar we've designed. This is called uh, today's technology phased array radar, which can also even look at space, track space satellites, and space debris is possible. The radar size has increased. And this is a phased array radar, fully designed, working from last one, 2015 onwards. And then when the Indian opened up, Mermori business has opened up in India in 2014, when we are the tender for a aircraft landing radar was enabled, we then took a plunge, said, let's back our technology rather than importing or integrating or looking at technology providers from uh, multinationals. We said, let us build the radar ourselves. So we went back to the drawing board, against the tender, designed the radar. In 18 months, this product was designed. And we demonstrated as part of the trial requirements, uh, as MOD requirements, you, they buy a product. They, they don't buy a design. Or they don't go, they don't go for development. The product actually exists. You have to go through trials. We went to the trials. We won the trial. We won a 380 crore order. And this, uh, we are ahead of delivery on this product as we go along. We have done a number of other products. We do Doppler weather radars installed. Again, all of them from scratch. What we're trying to say is we build the parts, we build the end systems, we build the domain, the knowledge, the algorithms, all of them are designed in-house. So we can look at the large market which India is opening out to. And we are the, probably the only company who designed our own radars in India and installed it in India here. This is a seeker for BrahMos. Shortly, it is going to go for flight trials. For a missile trial, it, it last November, it went through captive trials. Today we are importing the missile uh, seeker for BrahMos. Now the design is there. In another two months, we expect the trials to initiate. Hopefully, the trials success, once the successful trials, we are all looking at how to, you know, put the seekers on our BrahMos, BrahMos missiles, which is a cruise, uh, supersonic cruise missile. 
We are also building the uh, largest radar which India is going to design. We got the prototype order for about 360 crores for a space surveillance radar which goes into deep space surveillance. Here, this is a prototype contract. Once you develop this and demonstrate it, it is going to be 15 to 20 times the size for each radar is going to be there so that we can also protect our deep space for all the missiles or entry which happens. This contract we won. As a complete radar we are designing now, the frame which you are seeing is about 120 tons. We are designing the mechanical structures, the electronics that goes into it. So we built a competency model to do this. We recently won a contract for about 80 odd crores on a single tender for an aircraft radar application. This is the radar we are designing now. We are going to deliver it in five months. And this is going to go into a Dornier upgrade program. Instead of importing the radar, India is looking inwards to see can we develop the radar and put things together. That's one area of competency we built. The second area of competency we are trying to work is in electronic warfare. We built radars. In the last 14 years, we've uh, actually designed parts of EW systems. Electronic warfare has always been an important uh, configuration in India. So we worked with DRDO, and we've now built up the entire spectrum of receivers for electronic warfare, starting from HF, that is from communication systems, where you listen into communications, understand what is coming from, interpret it, replay it, jam it. Similarly, radar, radar signal monitoring. We have done everything, which is now is actually getting flight tested in LCA. It's already integrated into early warning radars of India. They develop systems which is going to Sukhoi 30 platforms. So the entire spectrum of electronic warfare, uh, the receivers, intelligence we are building, it, these are some of the pictures they're showing you on the Elint platforms which is gone. We do the glass cockpit. We do end-to-end -end glass cockpit. Uh, for all fighter aircrafts and all kinds of uh, systems. The fourth area, the third area we're working on is in communications. Here we design our own communication systems, 2,000 hops per second radio for both aircrafts and ground systems radio. All of them has been designed and designed in-house. Now, the fourth area we're working on is in satellites. Uh, I was introduced saying we do small satellites. This is an area where no other Indian company is actually building full satellites. We started long back, way back in 2014, when India allowed, or ISRO allowed, an Indian student satellite program to be launched free. We said we'll piggyback with the university and design satellites. We started designing satellites. The only idea is we need to design scalable satellites for defense. So we said we will not import anything. Though it's a 15 kg satellite originally we designed, it's a fully redundant satellite which can be rotated in space, move in space, position in space with the accuracy required. And all see downlink, uplink, all of them is be designed by us, including receivers as well as the antenna. So we designed this so that we can now look at the market in the world, in India first, and look at the world market. Look at how do we build defense quality satellites and then go to civilian satellite space markets. We successfully done that. We have, uh, you know, Ministry of, that is, uh, Department of Space for the nano satellite program buys all the satellite parts from us. And uh, that is how we're working. Recently, we've launched a satellite for uh, Pixel in November. This has been working well. It's been handed over to Pixel about two months back. So we have a fully working satellite in space now. The idea is to build the competency, then go to address the large market with products required for doing this. So this is the kind of uh, um, journey we have taken. And what we're really looking at now is we've now gone public. Now we learn to look at scale. How do I scale the company? What are the strategies? Till now, we've been looking at a DRDO-driven uh, kind of programs, which goes into repeat businesses from DRDO or from PSUs. But then we can't build scale with that kind of model. It is OK till now. Now the market has opened up. We're looking at some very large size of market. How do we address that market? So how do you build revenues beyond 2,000 crores per year? We won't go to 5,000 crore or 10,000 crore company. We need to do this only when we can have products which can address markets. So we need to look at the total addressable market. Which can be, so we are looking at how do we build products, look at a market size of probably 30, 40,000 crores. So what really India is doing, all companies in India, there are two ways of doing this. Tie up with foreign OEMs because you need to have, have the product uh, in the trial stage and then only be lowest quote and win the contract. We are trying to do it slightly differently. We're looking at areas where we have built up a substantive competency of homegrown technology, which is world class. Rely on that, build the product, compete with the foreign OEMs, 
and then try to scale the business. So this is the market model we are trying to do. Obviously, we are also trying up with some large companies. There are areas where we do not have a competency model, but we have a capability model to deliver. But on a competency model to design and deliver, we have chosen four areas where we're going to invest money and then build products. These are in lower Earth orbit satellites. Since we have a complete competency of satellites, not only just build the satellite, we also design the payload. We build the radar. We build the electronic payload there. We build the high-speed communication links. We do the tracking radars. Everything in-house, we have a competency model. So the idea is to try to build our own satellites for uh, Ministry of Defense requirements. We have all the specifications what we are necessary, and we can build an agile satellite for the requirement. Second area is what we want to do is build our own radars. A huge opportunity comes in for uh, radar requirements, more than 15, 20,000 crores. Requirement is coming up in tendering on make one, make two programs, as well as, uh, you know, buy IDDM systems. We want to address the market with Indian products. Third area is in electronic warfare. We have a single one company which has all of capabilities of building the entire EW system in-house, full design done with DRDO by us. We have a competency to now equip the system for UAVs, for aircrafts, for vehicle-based uh, uh, electronic monitoring. We have a competency model now. We also built a, a capability in terms of assembly integration and test in our own facility in Chennai. So we're going to address that market to build our own systems for not only EW in terms of uh, um, reception and receiving, but also jamming. Fourth area is in communication. We have designed systems for SDR, software defined radio, which is now getting flight tested in LCA. We want to build on the competency and build more product because a number of tenders are coming up with more than 30, 40,000 crores of total addressable market. We want to see whether we can access the market by, and then scale the revenue. Towards this, uh, recently, about uh, 15, 20 days back, we decided about one and a half months back to raise money as a QIP. We're thankful to the investors. They have come in, in good measure to see that we have successfully closed the QIP. We have taken about 500 crores on QIP. This is essentially to build products and build scale. The opportunity here is enormous. Um, if we build a strategy, if we build world-class products at a cost model which is very competitive to Western countries, and since we are actually competing with Western countries, we believe our cost model will be better. Our cost of development is going to be lesser because we're going to reuse a whole lot of building blocks already designed in, um, with DRDO, for DRDO. In all these areas, we've already done the design, gone through the journey. So there's a lot of reuse of products which are going to go here. So our cost of development is going to be lower. Our risk of development is going to be lesser. So we decided that this is how we want to scale the product. And genuinely, we are at an inflection point today. And the market has opened up. So this is a time to invest and build and scale in India. So this is what we're trying to do. Thank you very much for calling me here and uh, having listened to me. It's a very exciting time for us in India. And we want to be part of that. Uh, we're very bullish, very, very bullish on the opportunities in India's close to us. Thank you.